Uh, for the melon farmers, you know, one of the biggest challenges melon farmers face is the challenge of melon spike because this is a pest that can really do a lot of damage in your farm. So any melon farmer needs to understand how to control this pest and that is why when you visit your farm we give you uh, the best way forward and one of the best ways that you can do is to integrate the different solutions that uh, uh, or the different approaches to manage this pest. This in includes using the pesticide as well as installing traps. So how does a farmer, a melon farmer manage this pest using uh, chemicals? The one, one of the most important thing is to understand that this pest, you can't kill this pest by maybe spraying and then uh, uh, thinking that it will come feed on the plant and then die. So you must target the pest because it's actually just moving and laying the eggs and moving to the other fruit. And the attack mainly occurs when you have the female flowers. So by the time you see the damage, the, majorly the, the attack was done uh, was done long time ago, majorly uh, during the, the flowering stage. So you need to, to spray your, 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 your plants very late in the evening because this is the time that this, this pest is docile. And like uh, in the morning where you also when you are spraying, you might interfere with the pollination. So ensure you are spraying very late in the evening. And uh, in most cases, in some farms where we've seen very good control, they're even spraying at night. And then what you spray, you need to, to look at the best active ingredients. And currently we have seen uh, some of the products that are working is thiomexam and then you include or incorporate the neem oil in this and then alternate with the profenopos. So you can visit any of uh, any outlet or any aggravate and ask for this active ingredient. Remember you need to add thiomexam and then include neem oil in it and then alternate this with the profenopos. One of the thiomexam that we, we've seen working very well is, uh, is called Aragon from Kenagro and also we have uh, neem oil that is uh, nimbestin from Osho and also we have uh, we have uh, profenophos, we have polyking, we have uh, profile, and we have uh, uh, several profenophos in the in the in the in the industry. And then, how do you spray? You you, you need to, to ensure that you are doing good coverage because if you don't do good coverage, then uh, ultimately you are going to lose some of the fruits uh, to this to this uh, pest. And remember, once uh, the pest uh, deposits its eggs in the fruits, then you, you've got only two options, either to leave that fruit and uh, the decay happens after the, the hatching, uh, after the eggs hatch, or to spray the neem oil so that the neem oil will interfere with the hatching of the eggs. And that is the most important part why we are saying that you need to, in, to incorporate neem oil in your space. But above all, some of these strategies we cannot give them all now, but we will we create time for you when you visit any of our outlets and give you a program, a tailored program for your venture so that you as our client will feel the, 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 the benefit of working with us. So that, that informs you that we just don't sell but we also go beyond the counter and assist our farmers to produce well because we believe if you get profit then you're also in business and that's why we pride ourselves in the statement that we don't just sell but we sell professionally. Don't hesitate to contact us uh, in the numbers given below and visit any of our outlets in Kibwezi, Kiboka and Mali and be part of the alien family. The alien family where we share and care and we share this knowledge with farmers, we share this knowledge with other agronomists and we are focused in ensuring that your venture succeeds. My name is Dennis Nyandaya.